we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today, and uh, this is just going to be another uh, update on the Whirlpool and the induction cooktop that I got. Uh, we're just going to heat up some macaroni and cheese in here. The only reason I'm doing this with the mac and cheese is because majority of people have used Stouffer's mac and cheese uh, since like 1990 from now. Uh, th within, th not, I'm not saying it's the best they the definitely the quality has went down over the years because when i used to eat craft macaroni not craft i'm sorry when i used to eat stouffer's macaroni and cheese in the 90s i remember it being thick and creamy and it was good now it's a lot more watered down i guess you could say it's definitely not as thick as it used to be um but whatever times change uh, at least you could see compared to cooking it in your oven now i'm co gonna cook it in this whirlpool convection oven i'm gonna cook it in here so at least you can kind of get an idea of you know what it's gonna come out because this is also gonna spin as well obviously i like to put a little bit of numbers and stuff all the time between temperature or time or something i like to try to do anything with numbers to have some kind of measurement because uh, with me, I like science behind stuff because everyone has different variables. So if we can just at least get the bare bones of expectations, then at least it's only a slight swing, you know, down or up from there. Because I normally like to do the timer over here. So we are going to do the timer, see how long it heats up. This, we're not going to see how long it heats up. That doesn't make sense because I could put this on power boil and I can burn the crap out of this in two minutes but I don't want to burn my chili and then I have nothing to eat. That just is stupid. If you're boiling water, I think I did videos on that. I already showed everyone about the videos and stuff like that. But first we're gonna get to the preheating of this. So this is the Stouffer's mac and cheese that I'm talking about. These are the instructions on how to cook it. I don't think it's really that difficult. So we are going to preheat to 350. So we're gonna hit confection and we can hit the arrow over here. Go to manual, select, and then we got to do a 350. I messed up by one second on that, as you can see, so whatever. So that's heating up to 350. I, uh, you know, I should have probably used the power meter, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it next time I do this, I'll do a power meter and we'll see how much power it takes electrically to, you know, heat up the, the uh, stove and all the rest of it. I just didn't like to do that because last time I did that, that shit melted and I was very upset because I was, it was $40 down the drain. My air temperature is uh, 78 degrees. So just to let you know what I started heating the oven up as. All right, so it went off at there. That's kind of, uh, you know, how long it took to preheat. Now, the reason why, like, because some people like to see this crusted around the sides, a little burnt. Everyone likes theirs differently. I remember back in the day, my dad liked his a little bit extra, um, you know, heated up, I guess you could say, and that was his favorite thing, so. All right, all right. So we are back. There's what it looks like. We're going to give this an open. It's been, what, 32 minutes. Let's give this an open real quick so you guys can kind of see. So that's what mine looks like at 32 minutes. I'm going to shut this real quick because you guys can pause that and easily see what that kind of looks like. And that's what it looks like after 32 minutes. All right, so uh, that's it. And then we'll be right back and we'll see kind of what it looks like and what you can expect this way you can just compare it to your ovens or whatever review obviously uh of the whirlpool and like i said we're going to heat up some chili in a couple of minutes and it'll be a, a review on the cooktop as well on, of how uh, that's going so we're going to throw some chili in there in the next five minutes because that takes only like maybe you know, that takes under 10 minutes to heat up on this cooktop all right all right guys so we are back this is the uh said um 50 minutes that we're talking about over here uh so this is what it looks like right now i think it looks pretty good that's what it looks like when it should be coming out of the oven uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna uh that's the 50 minute mark of what they uh tell you just want to show you guys yeah pretty much that's what's going on so right here uh we have this thing on three and we're cooking this so we have that on three 
that's kind of uh, how it's cooking right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing, I'm just doing the temperature for myself because you guys have no idea when I started it or whatever. So we have a lot to go right there. This is what this sounds like though. The, um, my cooktop, this is kind of what it sounds like on the, on three, how it clicks on and off. All right, all right. So that's kind of, uh, like I said, me heating it up on there. The, I mean, the real review was about the uh, the mac and cheese. I just wanted to really show you. I'm just making chili mac, and I'm just throwing that on just to have some food because I'm broke. So this is the easiest thing to eat real quick and, uh, you know, make it simple about it and get what you need, some protein and some carbs, some energy, you know, whatever. And I guess this would be also a review and an update of this pan as well. This is, what's the name of this? Duck's Top. This is, yeah, Duck's Top right there. That's the pan. I got a whole a whole set of them. And uh, so far, so good. The Duck's Tops are pretty good. These are, what, over a year old now? Maybe about a year old. I don't even know. But uh, they're about, I know they're over, they're over six months. So they're probably almost a year old. And uh, I haven't had any problems. I use all kinds of utensils on them. I are, I am not abusive with my stuff, though. I don't, like, try to kill this thing. Uh, but I, I, you know, I clean it. I mostly, as soon as I use the, this kind of, anything I use really, I put in the sink and I fill it up with water. This way I do not have to scrub it that much and have to, you know, be so abrasive on it. You know what I mean? Cause that, cause that kind of stinks. All right. So it looks like we are pretty much done. Cause I only got to heat that to 150, 100 and then that's it. So that's it for Glen Velvet reviews on, you know, uh, an update on this on also the ducks top that I'm using the cooktop, uh, the cooktop, the uh, cooking ware that I used. And like I said, it's been holding up pretty quick. And remember, this is not commercial use that I'm using it for. So, uh, for residential, maybe using it three times a week, uh, this thing has held up, you know, pretty well. And then um, this is pretty much, you know, what we got going on for this uh, mac and cheese kind of setup. So that's the finishing touch of it right there. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community. Just like I get help from the community. All right. Everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.